Welcome to the Whiskey Vault and the first day of Tribe Week. Yes. Mm. Mm. Now, do you have any idea what Tribe Week is, Daniel? <laughs> I, not, I mean, I feel like I do. It's what the people want, right? Oh, as speaker for the people. <laughs> <laughs> Official speaker for the people? Official. <laughs> All right. There was a vote. Oh, fair enough. Okay. This wasn't. Fair enough. This wasn't an imperial takeover. So, as speaker for the people. Yeah. I've gone through their suggestions, their recommendations, their preferences, their wants, their desires. I read their hearts. Yes. And here's what I think we should do. Okay. To fully maximize the value that the people get. Yeah. One of the most oft requested. Is that a word? Oft. oft sure. Yeah. Go for it. I think I read that. One of the most oft requested. Yes types of shows that we've never done before. Right. A distillery tour of the expressions from a single distiller. Yes. Going through as many bottles we have from right. a distillery and comparing them back to back because we often do comparisons. Yes. But those are haphazard. Those are willy nilly. People, they don't, they don't know from, from a Jefferson's Which line? or to a, to a Cooper's craft. Right. But, but if they could at least have a single distillery that's being focused on. Right. And we can give the nuanced, subtle comparisons across those individual bottles. Yeah. That's a good value for the people. Now, how many, how many expressions does a typical distillery have? Man, it could range anywhere from two to three as their core line yeah. to you start getting into Highland Parks and Ardbegs and you start getting into tens and twenties and Oh, I had, plus, no, I had right? no idea. I had no idea. Yeah. Tens and twenties. So, so you, you were talking about the Highland Park and the what? That's, that may not be able to be pulled off in one episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have a different, I have a different approach to this. It's a distillery comparison. No trickery. No trickery. Okay. Trying to do you a favor. So the thing about psalming is what we teach our psalms is not that you need to stand there telling everybody everything you know. Right. Which is what tends to happen on this show, because we're trying to <laughs> Wait a minute. help people understand the whiskey. So all this time you've been doing it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> so, but the thing is, when you're at a restaurant or you're at a bar and right. you are trying, you're a song. Yeah. Your goal is not to explain to people all the amazing things you know. Okay. Your goal is to help someone find their preferred spirit. So it truly is a service. A guide. Yeah, you are not a fount of all knowledge. You are a shepherd. Am I boring you? Oh, okay. I think that we need to use the distillery expressions days yeah. to try to find the Mooch's preferred expression. For the people. For the people. For the people. Now, I think we should try it in multiple categories. Right. So let's start in bourbon. What, what do you like in bourbon? The distillery that it's really... going to help me narrow down a distillery. I'll, I'll tell you my favorite thing in bourbon. Okay. It's when a distillery so intensely cares about creating something special that they create expression after expression <laughs> after expression. That's not what you're trying expression. to get. You're trying it's to get the act of liquors. dialing it in, Daniel. They're <laughs> dialing in the perfect bourbon, the best possible whiskey they could make. So what is okay, a, what's a bourbon? Hang on a second here. With a lot of so, expressions. We've got a distillery that most, two distilleries that mostly source everything. Right. And uh, they have a lot of expressions because they're mostly sourcing everything and it lets them do a lot of variety. Right. Um, or we've got a distillery that makes its own stuff, but it's releasing it in multiple variations. Like you've got the special editions of Booker's Baker's Knob and Basil Hayden, for example. That's all from one distillery. Right. Right? So, would you prefer to, do you care if it's sourced or not sourced, or if they're making it? In the process of service. Mm-hmm. Particularly a Swami service. Mm -hmm. I would suspect the act of listening is an important part of this process. Yeah. And what is the one thing I said that I care about? As many whiskeys as you can possibly get your hands on. That was not it. It was <laughs> uh -huh. the distillery uh -huh. doing expression after expression after expression. So what is a bourbon-centric distillery that has... So you just eliminated your biggest options because I'm, gonna, I'm going to take that to mean they're making it. No, they can also be finishing and blending and doing some other stuff too. Okay. So they could do a combination. They could be making and they can be In that sourcing case, and doing do some stuff. You prefer the distillery that has the many expressions that is doing a lot of interesting finishing 
or the one that's simply doing a lot of interesting blending? I would say the one that does both. Eh. The one that combines those things in the depth and breadth of their... Well, because I'm leaning between Jefferson's, right. but it's mostly just interesting blends, right. and Bell Mead, which has this vast variety of finishing options as well as the blends. Which has, which has more whiskey? <laughs> I'm not telling. Bell Mead's over there. I feel like there's more Jefferson's. There's eight, Je nine Jefferson's. Jefferson's! <laughs> I just... Such sloppy decision making. Jefferson's is really... So, in this episode of the Whiskey Vault, we're going to be doing a distillery tour of Jefferson's. How exactly Jefferson's, are we going to make it through four videos? We're going to compare the various Jefferson's whiskeys that we have on hand to give you the subtle nuanced differences between each one. Now, Jefferson's, Daniel. Are you going to give me a hand? Oh, there's there so many whiskeys we need? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> Can you see that? Look, I'm not even holding back. Oh my god, he's gotten the little things out of the fancy cabinet. Look, the point is here... You know what, the tribe is going to be so happy. At this rate, we're going to be able to do like one video a day. No, we got this. We got this. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> I, had a, I had a hearty breakfast three days ago. <laughs> So it's ridiculous. we're fine. It's another morning shoot, by the way. Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. We've got, you're way back here. We've got your standard Jefferson. We'll start with the standard. Okay. Okay. We've got the uh, bottled exclusively for a different deal, but standard, which means it'll be a specific flavor profile. I feel like we need to be pouring a lot more. We've got, now I'm letting you choose your... Wait, choose? Choose oh. like four, so... Chef's collaboration. Four. I don't have enough glasses well, in the vault right now to pour any samples then of Then you these. don't pour anything, and we have water, water to rinse. So there's your classic. Okay. Yeah, nice classic bourbon. A little bit light. Yeah. Some bitter, bitter wood notes on the in there. Now, if you want to head towards... 45.1%. So this is going to be a slight variation in that it's still the small batch, but it's one chosen specifically for a retailer who wanted a specific flavor profile. So there should be a slight variation on what's going on here. Hmm. And I am pouring you tiny little tasting sips so that you still are functional. Man, that's a very slight variation. Yeah. I'm getting less of the wood bitterness, mm -hmm. less of a wood finish, a little bit more sweetness. Takes it out of cherry sweetness and into a little bit more of the sugar sweetness. So which did you like better? The second one. The second one? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Less cherry? Mm -hmm. Was your preferred direction? You may well, like this one. It then. was less of a bitter finish there. Okay, so this is Jefferson Ocean. This is Voyage 16, where they put barrels on a boat and let it sail all over the world. Right. I can already tell you this is going to be a problem. Yeah. Three in. I'm just saying, we're supposedly doing distillery expressions all week. No, that's the best so far. Really? Yep. In what way? You may not like this one then. I'm gonna have to get that second one again to really, really compare. Man, they're so similar. I, I take it back, it's the second one I like. Okay. Yeah. The ocean version. No. The oh, ocean. no, no, you're going backwards to yeah. that want this select from that The store. ocean aged at sea is a third. Oh, interesting, okay. Yeah. So now we're gonna go wine cask finish. Mm -hmm. So. This is the Groth Reserve cask finish. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon wine cask mm -hmm. finished bourbon. You're about to find out whether or not you really love the wine finished whiskey. I don't hate it. Yeah. I don't hate it. It's much sweeter though. Yeah. It's a different kind of sweetness. <laughs> well, we're cutting you off. Uh, <laughs> I still prefer the two. Doing it for the people. It's very sweet. Mm hmm Too sweet for me. I'm gonna say two. It's got a little bit more All right. character and that's just, that bad boy. That's just uh We're gonna go straight to the top here. Whiny sweetness. With the sixteen year old Jefferson Presidential Select. Yeah. 
16 year old. So in theory, this is just the classic bourbon, but it's 16 years old. Can I ask you why it's called a presidential select? Because they named it that way. Can we have a presidential select? Yeah, absolutely. Can we have a prime ministerial select? Yes. We have. We uh, can even make up our own ministry, like the Ministry of Silly Walks. The Emperor Select. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like, oh, the Emperor Select, sure. The Mooch Select. Totally selected it. <laughs> so it's, it's a much more forward wood note. Yeah. It, See, bourbon, an age in scotch tends to just smooth off the edges, but in bourbon, it tends to just imbue it with these richer, darker wood spice tones. Richer, darker, and this wood doesn't present as a bitter finish. Mm. This wood presents as actual just, you know, rich oakiness on the front end. Okay. And it doesn't finish with that bitter note that I didn't particularly fall in love with. It wasn't bad. I didn't fall in love with, with the, uh, the... So first. do you feel like it's just this one turned up a little bit, or do you think that's a different whiskey? Well, it's definitely turned up. I'm hunting for this wood note, which is the main thing that jumps out in mm -hmm. the presidential. Right. I'm not really finding it. It's more of just like a... So your preference between these is? Right now? Yeah. The 16? This one. Okay. So, stay, hold on to that one. Because we have the wood experiment selection. Ooh. So if you fell in love with the woody notes, you might go to find a slightly cheaper woody note version. You yeah. ready? Yeah. Okay. So one of these... <laughs> 60 gallon tribes weeks. I'm just doing this for the for the community. So this is a uh, French and American. Yeah. It should add deep with a deep toast. Yeah. This is American oak. Right. This is uh, original bourbon barrel with oak inserts that have been toasted. Right. Then a light medium char with lightly toasted American oak staves, and then charred American oak cubes. So I'm sort of leaning towards. Uh, Maybe the one that is the French and American hybrid barrel, because it's going to be a little bit spicier. So this is wood experiment number 10. Ooh. Ooh, that's even more rich and mm -hmm. oaky. Yeah. And the, it's a honey and cherry that just swells up. So you still get to keep the original notes of the Jefferson, yeah. but you're adding in a little bit of the depth of wood, mm -hmm. but you're not losing the sweetness. Yeah. There's that. You could try all four other ones. <sighs> you are irresponsible, Mooch. It's for, it's for science. At a real bar, I would have already cut you off. Do you, you realize you've poured me <laughs> less than an ounce of whiskey so far. No, that's not even close to true. Yes. <laughs> that's not even close to true. Amounts of whiskey. I'm pouring around uh, a fourth of an ounce each of these, which means if you finished it, you're already up to two and a half. So a single pour. No, a single pour is an ounce and a half. A single pour where the bartender likes you. Two ounces. The bartender you're still more than a two. They really like you. <laughs> At a place where the bartender doesn't understand whiskey, and so they pour it in the way they would pour wine. Right. So that was number 10. The other one I would say is, how about the medium char with American oak cubes? Mm -hmm. This is number four of the wood experiments. That's really nice, too. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, the cubes, it, like, this is going to be like a gimmicky thing. No? No, the cubes. They, they will change the flavor. Yeah, they really add um, some oak and some character. And I would think, well, it's cubes, it's gonna do some like, you know, sloppy, bitter notes, a lot of tannins. It's like, no, it's it's it's, it's nice. slightly more bitter. All right. But it's nice. I still gotta go with this one though. Number two? Well, whatever the hell this one was. Is that the number two or is that the 16? You're the one keeping track of your glasses. What? Just, dude, don't make me. I can saw you, Daniel, but I can't keep track of your own glasses. From the top. <laughs> <laughs> this so, is painful. No. This is like pouring for that friend that just does shots every time you pour him something, no. as opposed to really trying to work at this it. This is Tribe Week. We're doing distillery tours, the expression, the, the lineup, yeah. so that they can better choose from this distillery, which is the right one for me. Yeah. Based on mass consumption being only the only judge of quality. No. Mass expressions. Uh-huh. Mass expressions. Uh -huh. So you're comparing the 10 now to the 4. Yes. And you like the 10 better. Yes. Okay, then dump the 4. 
And this one is just plain oak inserts mm -hmm. that have been uh, toasted for a long period of time. No. Nope. Then dump that one. Loses a lot of character there. Then I would say at number three is a deep toasted 60 gallon barrel. A deep toasted 60 gallon barrel. So deep toasted, it's not even charred, it's just... Not charred, just over a flame for a long period, just letting it slowly toast itself so out. It's not burning. What it does is, in theory, it brings all the wood sugars in the wood to the surface, so that if you do char it, you've got a lot more caramelized wood sugars on the edge. You know what? It's nice. I'm missing, I'm missing all the character that I found in, in the Number 10. 10. So yeah. 10 is your one. Yeah. The only one remaining is 6. Okay. For science. Which is a light medium char with toasted oak inserts. For science and thoroughness. Now hold on. Hold on. A light medium char with oak notes and... The tin still takes it. What I All like right. about the tin, the six has, but the tin just has more of it. Right. The uh, the the front, the forward oakiness. Uh, it's rich. It's sweet. It's honey and some caramel. Not a tremendous amount of cherry, which I don't like cherry. I like cherry. Right. Uh, but it's not an oaky bitter finish. This has all those same things, and the six just turned down. Okay. And I like it. You know, a little more turned up. Yep. So you now know that the wood experiment number 10 is your preferred Jefferson. Okay, and that, I'm assuming that's hard to find because it's yeah, 10. Yeah, probably. Okay, so let's go to the core lineup. Let's circle back. Circle so the back. one of your core lineup, you kept going back to the same one over and over, which was the second one we poured. So the, which you're probably never gonna find again because it was hand selected for a specific store. The, it's just their classic small batch, but selected no, no, by a specific store. That was store. the presidential that I liked. No. You liked the presidential, but you after you finished the presidential, you went, no, I still come back. I mean, I can pour you the presidential, but uh, you still came back to that number two as being your preferred lineup. I feel like you should be taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a secretary. I much prefer the ocean. Which one? To that 16. The presidential select? Yeah. It's got this weird, no. like, fake sweet, sweet note that I can't figure out. It's... Almost like a toothpaste-y note. No. Well, have we done... We did Groth. And yes. Did you do Presidential Select? Yes, that's the one you were just saying you liked. Yeah, that's what this is. You just poured it and you said were, I like this better. So you're saying these bad words. These yes. horrific things. About the real Presidential Select. About Presidential Select. Yeah, I'm just not a fan. It's too sweet. Okay. Try the Chef's Collection here. Finish that 10. You remember, um... Barai, High West Barai, Blender Barai, Bourbon and Rye. Barai, yeah. This is their version of that thing. Okay. Barai. Yeah, yeah. If this is where this is where it fits in for me. Oh wow, it's if I'm flirting. Rye is there. If I if I'm flirting with the idea of having some rye. Yeah. But then I say oh, that'll take you right to the edge. Yeah. But then I say, you know what? But I don't really. Nah, but bourbon. Yeah. I I think I feel like I want rye, but I don't really want want rye. I'm gonna I'm gonna reach for that. That would work. Yeah. yeah because it's oh this is definitely bourbon. Oh there's a little bit of rye in there. Yeah. And so then it's, then it's gone again really if quickly. If you really want rye, no, it's not good enough. But if you just want to flirt with the idea of rye. That'll do it. It's a flirtation. All right, so you landed on presidential select as year one. Yeah. That's this one that you just moved towards me, I think, isn't it? This is the 10. I like the 10 best. Like best oh, one. that's the 10. The experimental. Right. Me the, too. Yeah. All right. Oh. I think we're good. Distillery expressions. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. We got a couple more of these to go. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. You steal. If, you steal over his <laughs> And if you drink, you drink, drink, you drink with us. In moderation. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.